Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives, Brian here. All right, so you're probably wondering what in the heck does a beekeeper need to do with a drill? Well, what I'm gonna do, you saw my last video where I did my oxalic acid treatments and I went from that bottom box, okay? A couple of the boxes I had to go from the front because the backs weren't drilled. Well, what I'm going to do is instead of going to my lower deeps, okay? Like you can see this one here is drilled. It's got the golf tee. I'm going to drill a hole in the second deep and treat from that second deep. So if you have your two boxes, the OA, oxalic acid, will go in and then it will circulate across that brood. So instead of in the bottom where it'll waft up a little bit, I'm gonna get a more full coverage of these hive bodies when I go in a little bit higher, okay? So I'm gonna drill the boxes. You can also see over there I have a new hive. Well, prepping for next year, what I'm going to do is switch over my double nuke uh, hive bodies with those hive bodies, you know, that bottom board and those deeps that are from Nature's Image Farm. Uh, I'll show you the quality of those. Um, they're wax dipped. They've got the Nature's Image Farm stamp on them. Awesome, awesome. So, Greg, thank you. But uh, let's get this started. I want to go through, drill the boxes, um, treat them all again. I'll get a second treatment. I'm going to get a third one here this next week. Um, every four or five days, they're getting a round of oxalic acid. I'm going to hit them with five or six treatments here. So get them into the fall where they can lay up those winter bees and have strong populations. So let's get this work started here. Um, got a little bit to do today. So come on, folks. <laughs> Right, I gotta have uh, all the oxalic acid treatments done. Now, you're probably looking, you notice I got this box here. So what I'm doing right now, okay, by transferring these colonies into basically just another hive, I want to free up my double nuke bodies, those setups for the spring. I can have them clean, I can have them ready for when I do splits. Now, I know a lot of people joke around and they say, oh, this and that, Brian's going to be at 20, Brian's going to be at 30, whatever. <sighs> I'm going to end up, I got a little surprise for you all here in a second. So after I'm done with this, I got a surprise for you, okay? But I want to have these bodies ready for in the spring when I do splits because next year, you know, maintaining my 10, 11, wherever I'm at, uh, anything above that, I'm going to sell. So I, I don't want to expand out that much yet. I will say yet because, you know, if there's a day when I don't travel as much for work, well, why not? You know, why not expand more? So let's do this. Let's get started. Now, I'm just going to transfer frames. That's it. Even swap. So what's in here, I'm just going to transfer over and keep in the same exact spot, okay? So the supers, I'm going to just transfer them right down. That is it. So let's get this going. All right, one done. Uh, looks great. All right, you're probably wondering, 
what is the seven frame apame doing here and why are there bees in it? Well, leave it up to Greg. Uh, you go and you visit Nature's Image Farm. Tell them, I got to pick up some hive bodies, got to pick up some uh, bottom boards. And you end up leaving with one of the Pepto Pink uh, very special queens. So I debated on, well, let's throw it in one of the other colonies, you know, that's a little testy. I'm going to move one of those out to the farm, so maybe that'll give uh, that colony a little bit of an attitude adjustment. So I'm utilizing this hive right here for what it's meant. Um, I'm going to get, you know, a seven frame split. Uh, you know, I'll leave it overnight without a queen, install the queen tomorrow, and boom, we have a second week August split. I don't normally split this late, but I have enough resources that I can supply that colony. So let's get in here and let's take care of swapping this over. I'm going to pull some uh, frames out of here. I might pull out of one of the others if I can open this thing. There we go. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Loaded. Wow, that frame is completely filled out. Okay. So, it's going to go right into uh, the Apame. That right there is what I'm talking about having the resources. Good brood frame right here to add over. Now I'm just looking to make sure that I do not move my queen. Whoo, got that done. So I got them transferred over. They're a little worked up. I mean, I, I just expected it. We're in dearth and I'm tearing up the hives and splitting them, things like that. But you can see I got the seven frame Apame going again. Um, I'm gonna come over tomorrow. I'll drop that queen in here. Probably gonna end up adding on a second box as well. Just put some frames in there, give them some space, you know. So um, that'll take us to 11. So hopefully this one here gets a little bit settled down. Um, I expected them to get a little bit worked up. So this is that California hive right here. Um, and then this right here, well, that'll be my Nature's Image Caucasian. So I got a special queen for that one right there. So, um, gosh, you know, something. So I could even start the poly again. I don't know. Um, but that's it for today. Um, if you like beekeeping and, you know, just want to keep on following, you know, hit that like. I appreciate that. Subscribe also if you haven't. Um, uh, beekeeping in Northeast Ohio, y'all. So till the next time, everybody take care. An Apame seven frame nuke is getting the Pepto Pink Queen. All right, you're probably wondering, you're like, Pepto Pink Queen? What? Well, so throw a little link, you know, up there. You know that I expanded out those two colonies. I got, uh, you know, new boxes from Nature's Image. Look at these things. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at that. Love these boxes. Wax dipped. Um, awesome. You know, I'm down there visiting my buddy Greg, and he hands me one of these queens. Now, Pepto Pink, you say, what is that? Well, a little joke here with the stream team. You know, Bruce got some uh, Alabama Eyes queens, and they get a little feisty. So we got talking and we're like, they need a little Pepto just to chill out a little bit. So Greg colored some special queens Pepto pink. So what I have done, and this is, I think this is the latest that I've ever done splits, Northeast Ohio. We're second week of August. Now, apiary has expanded out excellent. You can see all the colonies here are doing great. So I pulled a split off yesterday. Um, made sure there was not a queen in here, and I'm going to install her in there. 
Now I have enough frames. I'm going to add the second box on here as well. They have plenty of stores and stuff in here. Um, so I want this queen that is a Caucasian Appalachian. Okay. She comes from daughters that were, you know, from Bob Benny. So very good line here. Um, that Greg has, you know, grafted and pulled specific daughters, this is one of them. So, you know, I am can't even say enough to have the opportunity to put one of these in my apiary. So, let's open up this apame here, do a quick little inspection on it, see if we see, you know, maybe did I slip up? Did I pull over the queen? I don't know. But we're gonna check it real quick, check for cells, smush them down, install this queen, and there we go. Here we're gonna have an Appalachian uh, Caucasian mutt in the apiary now, so super excited. So let's get on uh, over and uh, let's open up this apame. Okay, so I know now there is no queen in here, okay? Now, I can hear that roar, okay? There's a little roar to this colony, all right? Watch this. This is, uh, it's the power of pheromones, okay? Watch this. I'm gonna set that on there, okay? There is a queen in there, okay? We're gonna see now, what will they do? Are they gonna come up? Are they gonna accept it? You know, and just listening, I can see them on there, okay? And what you want to do is you want to see their behavior on that cage. Are they attacking it? Do they look like they're feeding her, accepting her? Are they fanning her pheromones down? And I can see it's, it's nice, gentle behavior. Now, if they were attacking this queen, you know, to easily rub them off, I could not do that. I can see them here fanning. Look at that on there, fanning, nice fanning behavior. Right here, you can see that fanning along there. I am, with this cage, okay, there is fondant on this end and the queen. I'm going to put it so that the pink is up. Now, what they will do is from the bottom side where that fondant is, they will chew that through. They're going to feed this queen also. I can see them in there and they're, you know, welcoming her. And we have an August split in Castle Hive's apiary. Now, I'm going to put this back, okay? Let them do their thing, all right? And I am really curious to see how this queen builds up. So, um, we'll come back in... Uh, Oh, probably a day or two. This is Sunday. We'll probably come back on Tuesday and we'll see what they have done. Have they released that queen? Okay, very curious. What I want to do also, since this is a fairly new colony, in the front here, let me bring you around to the front. So you can see in the front of this, you know, we have my entrances all the way open. Well, this one over here, I'm going to close that side up, okay? I only want this side over here open just part way. This is not that large of a colony, okay? I want to close this entrance up so that if any other hive attempts to rob it out, there's only that small little area there, you know, a matter of about two inches that they have to guard. Sufficient enough space for them to get in and out, okay? Um, I'm going to leave those entrances so that those uh, vents there are closed. Same on the back, okay? And this is set up. So we're going to come back in two days and we'll see, have they released that queen? So watch this. I'm going to snap my fingers and we're going to be two days from now. Holy Moses. It's Tuesday. Let's check and see if the queen was released. I'm curious. Now I'm betting that she is. So this is what I wanted to see right here. Very special queen. You can see her right there, okay? Nice dark Caucasian, okay? She is released. Um, I moved a little bit of a cup there, okay? So I wanna check this 
and just to make sure that there is nothing else on here I want that little girl there to uh, survive she's looking good she's on that frame right there I need to go up and grab another Apame frame to fit into this that way there's seven frames put that in there let me take this Okay, well, we will see how this late split does in the apiary. Um, I'll be very curious how it does. Uh, I probably, if there wasn't a little bit of a flow, I would probably throw some feed on them. But right now, there's not, you know, it's not a real heavy flow. So I don't want to throw a lot of feed in this colony and end up, you know, starting a robbing situation. Um, definitely don't want that. So I'm going to close those vents. Those are good. Uh, let me latch that up. And we've got an August split in Northeast Ohio. So let me leave that queen there. That way I know. Now, let's look up front here real quick. Okay, so you can see here, I'm missing a colony. I moved a colony out to the farm, so that one is out there. The buckwheat's starting to come up out there, so that's good. Uh, this other apame here, look at this. Look at how they're bearding out front there, so, so awesome. But uh, you all take care. I'm going to get out uh, of, it's actually starting to rain. So um, follow along. Now I'm going to move this stand to the back. That way that hive there, you know, that hive body has its own stand. And uh, I think the only other thing I'm going to do in the apiary is this tree here is going to come down. But uh, overall looking pretty good. So y'all take care. I'm going to get out of the rain. August splits in Northeast Ohio, y'all.